Hello guys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make a bootable Windows 10 USB drive so that you can install Windows on your system later on. And this happened a lot that your Windows get corrupted suddenly or you are doing something important and you have some important files stored on your PC and all of a sudden it's Windows get corrupted and you can't actually turn on your device and you want that file really, really bad. So in this video, I'm going to show you also how you can make a Windows to go pen drive as well so that you can just urgently boot into your system it's kind of slow but it can get the work done if it's really urgent you need to borrow a pc from your friend or neighbor so that you can make a bootable pen drive later on so that you can just fix your computer and it can take a lot of time so it's better that you already have a pen usb drive ready with a windows installed in it so that during this crisis time you can just install windows quickly on your pc and get your work done easily or if you want to boot into the system quickly, you can make a Windows to go by USB drive, which I'll show you later in this video what I'm talking about. So that you can just quickly boot into your system, just copy all your files for the meanwhile, so that you before you can get the Windows installed on your PC. So without wasting further time, let's head straight to the video. So my name is Rohit and you're watching SnapTech, so let's get started. So first go to the link in description below and download these two files called media creation tool and Rufus 3.17 so you can just scroll down to find these two files link below and click the link below and download all these two files after i just open this media creation tool double click click on yes for administrator rights this is the official windows software so you know you don't have to worry about it so then it will show you a pop-up like this getting a few things ready Then it will ask you to accept some agreement, just click on accept. Then it will give you an option to upgrade your current PC or to create an installation media such as USB flash drive, DVD or ISO file for another PC. So just click this second option as we don't want to upgrade our PC but want to keep a backup of a window so that in future we can use it. Then click on next. Then keep this selected, use this recommended option because everything is good. Or else if you want to change, you can just uncheck and select the desired thing which you want if you want some other state where living in some other country you can just select it and if you want addition it will just be windows 10 because i have downloaded just a windows 10 one if you want you can also go to the windows site and download the respective tool you want and then select the architecture either we can go for 32 bit 64 bit or both as well but my system is running on 64 bit so i'll just select 64 bit after that just click on next then it'll give you an option to choose which media to use so I will flash this ISO file using some other tools so I won't select usb flash drive rather I will go with the ISO file so after selecting ISO file just click on next now it will ask you where you want to download this windows so I'll go to my current folder where I just moved these two files which is bootable windows and we'll click on save and it will take some time to download this file so you need to just sit back and relax until it's done as you can see the downloading has been started
and once the window has been closed just run this to do first 3.17 and you can see the iso file which you just downloaded right now in this media creation tool just run view first and it will ask you for administrator right just click on yes after that you will be ending up with this kind of interface after that just click select your pen drive which you have connected i've already did that you will at least need usb drive with 8 gb of storage so if you have anything less it won't work so then just select name of your usb drive so it's snaptech check in as i used in my previous video just name like that after that just select your boot selection disk image so you can just drag or drop over here or you can just click on select and go to your desired folder where you downloaded the windows and select your windows file click on open and after that just you can select the image option so there is a catch over here you can select a standard windows installation in which you, you can just in reinstall the windows if your windows got corrupted in some way and just reinstall the windows on your hard drive and in some way if your hard drive got corrupted and there is some additional hard drive which you don't want to install windows on you can go with the windows to go version if you want something very urgently and you can't wait for windows to get installed just go with the windows to go so whenever you will just plug your usb in any of the pc or laptop you can use it to boot into system it will actually have the whole windows interface in that and not just the installation file so if you want to go with the windows to go but there is a also one catch that if you use it windows to go version it might be a little slow as it's just everything on a single usb drive but if you go with the standard windows installation you can just reinstall the windows on your hard drive so the option is yours so here i will go with the standard windows installation and after that just keep everything just like that and click on start and it will give you a warning that all the data on your usb drive will get erased so if you have something important you will need to back up it somewhere on your pc before and after this process as everything will be erased so once you are sure that everything has been backed up and you don't have anything important on your usb drive just click on ok and it will take a while to complete the task so just sit back and relax for the one last time So once it's completed, you will be on this kind of screen like everything will be done, it will be done ready and you will see one start and close menu, just click on close. And now our USB drive, bootable USB drive has been, now if your windows got corrupted, you can just boot into BIOS, set your boot priority option to your USB drive and just install the whole windows. And if you want, I can make a separate video on how to just boot and install windows through your bios and also another video for windows to go version as well so this is how you can create a bootable usb drive on your pc in case your pc got corrupted or if there will be some other problem in your windows you can just install it in future and you're all good to go so if you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more tech related content in future just click on that red subscribe button on the bottom and if you're new to my channel please drop a like and even if you sub are subscribed just click on that bell notification so that whenever i upload a new video you get a notification of that so thank you so much for watching this video. I will meet you in the next one. Snaptech signing out.